Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make this clover leaf out of polymer clay. It's also known as four leaf. So first of all, you'll be needing this um, light green clay. And just roll them in four tiny balls of clay. And just start off by um, flattening down the top part and just pinching the bottom part to make them look like a leaf. You can, it's good that you have this um, picture beside you. You can search on uh, for them on Google. And just, you know, kind of shape it accordingly to the picture itself and you can also make some heart shape ones and I'm making a heart shape for two leaves instead of all of them I'm just uh, making two of them and just you know pinch them and just don't really make them do look exactly like a really perfect heart shape just a little bit will do and after that just grab your needle tool just kind of texture it to give them the realistic look like the extra leaf after you're done you know just put that aside and this is how it looks like just you know blend it in with your dotting tool or your blending tool and just remember to make sure you add TRS later on after you're done just you know roll a really thin snake and just add it on and just blend them together again really nicely And then just you know shade them with some of this chalk pastel. I'm using light green and dark green for this. And this is how it looks like. And just go and bake them, and you get this result. And mine kind of over baked, that's why it looks a little darker. After that, just grab a mold and just get a resin mix and pour them into a mold. You want them to be half filled or uh, a little lower than half. After you're done, just you know, grab a straw and just gently um, blow them into the resin to get rid of any air bubbles. I'm not really a pro at removing air bubbles, but you can search on YouTube to search on how we can do that. After you are done, just you know, grab a container and just cover it up to prevent dust. After that, uh, after 30 minutes or so, you get it gets stacky and just you know, go ahead and put on your cover leaf. And I'm putting my facing upwards because I want my front to be uh, facing upwards and because this mold aren't really glossy at the bottom part so I'm using the top part instead if you get what I'm trying to say. After that I just pop them into the freezer after 24 hours uh, so that the resin will come off easily. If it doesn't just go ahead and pour some water on top uh, at the back so that it will get off really easily. And after you are done popping them up, just grab uh, resin and pour them on top of the uh, front part to dome it. And just make sure that the resin really pops out instead of flat. And then just you know do the blowing bubbles again. Just grab your straw and blow them on top. Just you know, really get rid of all the tiny annoying air bubbles. And then just go ahead and cover it up. After 24 hours, you get this result. And as you can see, mine has a lot of air bubbles, but that's okay. <laughs> and you'll need a bell to kind of glue it to the back since I didn't get to add eye pins. So you know, I made this bell myself using wires. I'll be having a tutorial later on in the future and I'll be using this E6000 glue to glue them together. And it's your personal preference whether you want to you know paint the back or not but I'm going with the transparency. And just wait for it to dry and you are done. Just after that, just you know, go and grab some chain, some necklace. Uh, I'm using this string from Daiso, and it's kind of like a fabric string. So I'm using the darker one instead, and just measure their desired length and just cut it off. And also, I'll be using lobster claps, but I don't have one, so I'm using the one from Selfish Stripe instead. I just you know, remove it from the extra stripes and just you know, tie it to the end of the string really tightly and just cut off the excess 
afterwards and also you will need jump rings but I'm using this wire that I call it myself and just tie it at the bottom part and there you go you are done with the clover leaf necklace and yeah I really hope you like this tutorial and if you do just give it a thumbs up and also watch my other video and follow me on um, social, me so social medias and yeah see you and have a nice day